Hi, I'm Jillian Cannon, and I'm so excited to share with you my dance film entitled Home is a Place I Move In. Um, this project was made possible through the Alumni Artist Support Initiative. I'm so grateful for all of their help throughout the entire process, um, as well as the two other artists on my creative team for this project, uh, Taylor Bonadies and Layla Meyer. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. This project grew from 
like my own feelings of instability at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, like so many others, I left my New York City apartment and um, I was oh, living in what I thought was a temporary situation with my partner in Virginia. I live here now <laughs> um, permanently, but at the time I was making this film, I was also just trying to make a home for myself. Um, and so throughout the process, I was constantly returning to the question of like, what is home? And, or I guess like, what is all of the things that home can be? Um, because I started to realize too that beyond being feeling displaced um, geographically, I I was missing like little things like um, coffee from the street vendor in the morning or um, my walk home from the subway stop and um, writing notes on the whiteboard to my roommate, just like little things that I didn't, I didn't realize became rituals, like little daily rituals, um, until I didn't have them anymore. So I, I left the idea of home as a residence to expand it, um, and go beyond residents to all the other things. Leila and I talked a lot about home bases throughout this process. Um, and in a dancer mover improvisational choreographic context, that meant um, identifying the home bases of my movement, the go-tos that I always pull out when I'm improvising. Um, and also just like, do I always start the same way and things like that. So we we talked and returned to this idea of home base in that way, but it was like during this time when I was dancing in my den on carpet or outside on concrete or um, on grass. And I wasn't taking class and dancing as much nearly as, pre-pandemic. So even my go-to movements felt different and unfamiliar um, because of where I was and also because I, my body felt unfamiliar in a lot of ways. So a, a lot like if you or when you return to or visit a place that used to be home, um, how that just, it never feels like how it once did. Um, it never feels the same or how you remembered it. In those discussions with Layla um, that I really realized that we weren't making a film about the cozy comforts of home. And instead we were, making a film about the longing for that feeling, um, almost like a nostalgia for that feeling and the misguided efforts to return to that or create it again, even though that's not at all something that can be contrived. I also can't talk about this creation process without mentioning Taylor and giving Taylor credit. Um, for filming and editing this film. Um, I had initially proposed uh, and envisioned this as a um, live immersive performance. And like so many other performances during these times, um, time came to make the call that virtual was safer. And when we switched gears and made that call, I panicked. Uh, didn't feel like I knew 
anything about making a film or a dance film. Um, and that's when Taylor was added to the team and I could not be more grateful for that. Um, Taylor listened to um, Layla and I talk about how we had envisioned this um, happening as a live performance and um, what we had worked on so far. And then Taylor just really opened my eyes to everything um, that's in the toolkit for filmmaking and editing. And I just, I could not have done anything that Taylor did. <laughs> um, and I just, I feel like Taylor breathed a whole new life whole project. I just, I couldn't have done it without Taylor and Layla and the Alumni Artists Support Initiative. And so I just wanna say thank you again. I'm so grateful and thank you for watching.